Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Mr. Steven, Mr. Jose. Hello. Hello. How are you? How was your day? <laughs> so, so. ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Cómo les fue? Dentro de lo que cabe, bien. Solo que es uno de esos pocos días que uno dice, ay, este día decide más de lo que me dio. <risa> bueno. Eso es bueno. Vibra. Hay, hay que aceptarlos así como son todos. Algunos son de, de esos días que uno dice, vuela, <ríe> no me lo esperaba. Sí, exacto. Y hay otros que uno dice, híjole, ya, por favor, que se acabe. Consulta. Dígame. Este, pregunto yo, esta es una pregunta bien preguntona. Ajá. Ajá. Este, esta semana que viene vamos a tener clases. Sí, vamos a tener clases creo que el lunes, si no me equivoco. Solo el lunes y de ahí para allá es la vacación, desde el 1 hasta el 6. Y de ahí reiniciamos el 7, hasta donde yo sé. Pero tengo que tomar bien el dato porque si el 31 todavía, todavía es de julio. Entonces creo que el lunes sí, pero voy a consultarlo bien. Okay, y yo con muchísimo gusto en estos días les doy la, la noticia. Y ellos también que nos informan. Inglés Corporativo siempre les hace el, el, el informe oficial. Entonces esperemos ese también para ya hacer maleta. ¿verdad? Sí, porque me estaban preguntando. Y yo, no, no puedo, no puedo ausentarme. Ajá, hay que, hay que esperar. ¿verdad? No voy a estar ahí yo en el Majahual. Y me digan, mire, hoy hay clase. ¿verdad? A caray, le pues. Teacher, la, Gracias, veo un, la veo un poco bronceada. Man. Sí, lo siento. No sabía que iba a haber clase ahora. No, pero ellos no van a avisar. Ellos nos hacen siempre la, la notificación oficial. Pero por lógica de calendario sería quizás solo el lunes. Y de ahí, este, del uno en adelante no. ¿verdad? Pero hay que esperar a ver cómo ellos toman sus vacaciones colectivas para que nos informen. Así que esperemos. Igual yo mañana voy a hacer la consulta para, para que todos estén tranquilos. Y después de vacaciones, pues todavía tenemos unos días más para, para, este, para clases y pues para que puedan terminar todo ordenado. So, welcome, my dear students, to your class. Another opportunity to learn, right? I am very happy to have you here once again. And for sure, to have another opportunity to share and learn. Today, we are going to work 
a little bit on simple present. I know that topic, it's complicated, but it's not impossible, okay? I know it's it's kind of difficult to get to recognize the different uh, changes of the days, the verbs, etc. But we're going to work on that today, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. And for sure, we are going to be completing some sentences, some activities, and uh, it is going to be a nice class, you will see. So yesterday we were talking about the different verbs, the different professions, occupations, different things that people do on their job, and for sure, things that uh, we do every day. We were talking about daily routines, okay? We were talking about daily routines and activities that you do on the different times of the day. Okay, what time is it right now? Can you tell me the time? What time is it? What time is it right now? Uh, seven, 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 five. 7.05, right? 7.05. 7.05. Good. So remember, when we have for telephone numbers and for the time, we say oh, seven oh five. So that's what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be working with the times. We are going to be working with different activities related to simple present. And we are going to be creating sentences basically, right? Because that is what we need. We need to create sentences. So exactly as yesterday, we are going to start our day with a short activity. We are going to do words exactly as yesterday, okay? I'm going to show you one letter and you are going to do words with that letter, okay? Vamos a hacer el mismo ejercicio de ayer con diferentes letras for you to practice vocabulary. I need you to have your notebook ready. Do you have your notebook with you? Tienen su cuaderno a la mano? Because we are going to work. Okay. So we are going to start. Today, we are going to work with the different letters. We are going to work with, okay this one and let me see okay do you have your notebook with you ya tienen su cuaderno listo yes so we're going to start the first letter of today is the letter I, I, la letra I, como Indian, okay, letter I, go ahead, 10 words, 10 words with the letter I, remember when you have it, say finish, and we're going to stop, 10 words with the letter I, Diez letras, diez palabras con la letra I. And I have the next one. So, okay, good. Ten words with I. Hello to all the ones who connected already. Hola a todos los que se conectaron. Yeah. Okay. Ten words with I. Diez letras, diez palabras con I.
10, only 10. Ah, a little bit complicated. Eagle is con E. And no. Eagle no, is no. Eagle is with E. Eagle is with E. Comenzamos violentos, teacher, con esa letra. Habiendo 26 más, teacher, usted escoge la I. That's for you to think. That's for you to, to work, to exercise. Okay, Antonio, finish. Stop the voice. Huh? Hoy, bien, hoy los bichos vienen con todo. Me dijeron que en el almuerzo se juntaron por hacer con todo. todas las letras. ¿eh? Ok, Antonio, no tell me. Hacer que ayer. <ríe> no lo dejaron ganar. Ok, este. La primera es Internet. Internet. Intelligent. Ajá. Ima imagen. Imagen. Imagen, good. Imagen. Ok, in that case, like imagen. Ajá. Icon. Icon. Icon, good. Icon. Y la otra es. Uh, imagine. Imagine. Good. Imagine. imagine. The next Information. One. Information. In integration. Integration. Okay. Right. Integration. Good. International. International. Insert. Insert. Uh -huh. uh, introduction. Introduction. Good. Very good. Internet. That was another one. Internet, <laughs> right? Very good job. Very good job with the 10 words, right? Very good job. We have the I. Okay. okay. Yesterday, which word, which letters did we use? Ayer usamos la A, la R. ¿Cuál otra? Vamos a ver, revisen sus notas. Ayer fue... La A. Ajá, la A. La F. La, la F. La F, la P, la A, la R y la C. La R y la C. O, C. Ok. A, R, C, F, P. A, R, C, F, P. Esas fueron las de ayer. Yes. Ok, good. So, today, the next one. Ladies, usas. The next one. Easy one. The letter. L. L, 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 L. I know what is the first word. Ya sé cuál es su primer palabra. The L. Okay, fundión ahí. Fundión violento. Letter L. 10 words with L.
Stop. Okay, stop. 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 Very good, Jonah. Words with L. Tell me. Go ahead. Loser. Okay, loser. Loser. Liar. Liar. Uh -huh. Line. Letter. Lemonade. Lemonade. Lyric. Lyric. Love. Love. Little and Lake. Nice, right? Nice job with the letter L. Very good job. Nice job. One the boys, one for the girls. The next one. The next one. Okay. ¿Qué letra? ¿Cuál quieren? ¿El uno, el dos o el tres? El tres. El tres. Why? Go ahead. Uh, no. You chose it. I'm sorry. That was the third one. Why? Bueno. Okay. Letter Y. Y. Why? Letter Y. Stop, teacher. Letty is stopping the game. Letty is stopping the game. Okay. Okay. Ahora lo vamos a poner un poquito más el reto. Letty nos va a decir las suyas y todos ustedes me van a decir una. Okay. Diferente a la que diga Letty. Okay. Letty nos va a decir sus 10 y todos me van a decir una que Letty no dijo. Vamos. Letty, go ahead. Pongan atención. You. You. Yeah. Yes. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow. 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 Good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. Joe. Young. Uh, young. Good. Young. Your. Your. Yahoo. Yahoo. Uh -huh. And yours. <laughs> yours. Okay. You, yours, and you. <laughs> That's <a> smart. <laughs> Steven, give me one. One more. Oh. Dime otra. Cualquier otra que tengas. You. you. Okay, you. You. Jose, give me one. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Good. Christian, give me one. Uh, yellow. Yellow. Luz, give me one. Mm, 
The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen. The microphone. No, it's okay, give me one. Solo dame una. Your, yes, Joe. Okay, you, your, your, yes, and Joe. Okay, good, very good. Uh, Catherine Elizabeth, give me one. Yogurt. Yogurt, hey, yogurt. Very good. Ilse. Yourself. Yourself. Very good. Yourself. That's another one. Tatiana. Year. Year. Very good. Year. Joanna. Joanna. <laughs> but we don't have names. Uh -huh. I have one different, pero olvide cómo se pronuncia y que es a bostezar. <laughs> ah, young. Young. Oh. Young, young, young. Se lo voy a enviar al chat para que la tengan todos. Young. Okay, young, it's like, young to young. The action. Also, another one, it's yell. Que es gritar, yell. Right, we have that one. Antonio, give me another one. Yogurt. Yogurt, okay, Alma Dalila. Con Y. Ay, yo la hice con H. Como Ay. perdí la señal un momento. Y la hice con H. Ok, guárdelas, guárdelas. La vamos a ocupar. And Janet, hello. Ok, the last one of the night. La última de la noche. La última de la noche. Es. The. Letter G. G. Letter G. The letter G. G of cat. Letter G. Finish. Finish! Antonio, again! Ay, the voice tied with the girls. Dos y dos. Hoy no fuimos parejos esta noche. Antonio, vamos. Uh, girl. Girl. Uh, guitar. Guitar. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Go. Go. Google. Okay. <laughs> Go. 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 Uh -huh. Go. Game. Game. Give. Give. And. Good. 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 Good job, good job. Do you have another one that is different from the ones that Antonio has? ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna distinta a las que dijo Antonio? Game. Game, ajá. Uh -huh. 
Garden. Which one? Garden. Glad. Glad. Very good. Garage. Garage. General. Generous. Wow. Very good. Generous. Wow. Guide. Grapes. Grapes. La uvas. Green. Green. Good. Good. Great. Glue. Glue. Very good. Glue. Glue. So. Guacamole. Guacamole. Yes. Guacamole. Guacamole is guacamole here and in China. Okay. In China is guacamole. But it's garden. the same. Garden. Right. Garden. And for sure. Guide. Gather. Get. Group. 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 Yes. You see, hasta que ya pasó los diez, los diez palabras, se nos viene como aguantado. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Very good job. Excellent job with the vocabulary practice, my dear students. I really like that it makes you think, right? It makes you think on what's coming, on what's next, on what do I have to do? What do I have to, to think about? So it, it is a very good opportunity for you to practice, right? For you to think about the different uh, vocabulary, the different words, the different things, right? Excellent practice. I really like this game. So we have been working a lot with the daily routines, right? We have been working a lot. And yesterday we started working with some professions and occupations, right? I have here a couple of professions and occupations from the book. Okay, son algunas que están en su manual. Chicos, ¿todos están trabajando en la plataforma? ¿Ya le solventaron a los que no podían entrar? Yo hasta hoy empecé a trabajar ahí, teacher, porque me estaba saliendo todo en español y aunque yo le diera este, traducir en inglés, siempre me lo seguía dando así. Ok, pero ya, ya pudiste hacer el... Sí, ahora empecé con la primera sesión y la segunda. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Sigámoslas trabajando. Ya las hicimos, ya vieron cómo las completamos el otro día, ya las hicimos juntos, así que trabajémosla, por favor. ¿Para qué? Para que hoy en vacaciones puedan terminar todos los ejercicios y no nos quede ninguno pendiente. ¿Alguien más de todos los que teníamos inconvenientes? ¿Ya se los solventaron? ¿Yo se los reporté a todos? ¿Sí? En el caso mío, sí, ya estamos, eh, ya, ya estoy trabajando también en ello. Ok, perfecto. ¿Ilse? Este... Yo he estado trabajando en los primeros ejercicios, pero hay uno en el que todas las respuestas me las tira incorrectas, me las tira en rojo. Ok, mándenos, mándenme una captura o mándenme, mándenos una, una captura al grupo de cuál es el ejercicio. Tal vez algo estamos haciendo mal. Quizás es algún ejercicio donde se tengan que escoger dos y solo has escogido uno. Ah, okay. A mí yo creo que me tiraron en rojo, pero porque me hacía falta el punto. Ah, va, vale. otro detallito, vea. Entonces, envíenos, Ajá, igual a mí. envíenos con las respuestas que le he puesto para que ahí veamos cuál es el error. Ok. Good. ¿Alguien más? Chicos, ¿alguien más que todavía tenga dificultades? Eh, sí, sí, estoy trabajando también, solo que a veces la plataforma tira las respuestas malas porque a veces le damos más espacio, no ponemos el punto o no se da la no se pone la letra inicial en mayúscula entonces así es entonces, eh, es problema con es, eso, entonces eso se, se recuerdan como... se recuerdan cuando les presenté la plataforma al principio les dije bien quisquillosa tienen que tener un gran cuidado con los puntos con los espacios con las mayúsculas lean la indicación siempre lean la indicación así quiero ver Janet problemas con la plataforma ninguna Janetcita Ajá, José, dígame. Eh, solo eh, comentar que los puntos no vienen, porque a veces yo, eh, yo buscaba el punto, pero el punto no aparece en la oración que hay que, hay que completar. Uno Ajá, tiene que agregar. Ahí hay que puntos. ponerlo, ahí hay que ponerlo, ¿ok? Bueno, entonces espero que los demás ya vayan este, avanzando. Janet, ¿problemas en la plataforma? Está peleando la Janet. No esté peleando, Janet, ahí déjelo. Vaya niños a dormir ya, mamá está estudiando. <risa> ¿Problemas en la plataforma, Janet? ¿No? ¿Ya avanzaste? No, este, no había podido, pero ya una compañera de, de, de ustedes me enseñó y 
por eso mañana voy a comenzar. Ok, ahí mañana hay que meterle todo lo que pueda, ok? Sí. Ok, perfect, perfect then. Ok, so let's work, right? Let's work on this. This is the manual, right? Los manuales, lo que yo les, lo que yo les compartí en PDF, este, estos no van evaluados. Estos les sirven como guía a ustedes para cada clase. Así que eh, para que lo vayamos ahí teniendo en mente. Vean. Este lo pueden ir trabajando y todo, pero no es, es, no es tanto como la plataforma porque la plataforma sí es para sus notas y evaluaciones. Okay, so we have here different professions and occupations. What is the first one, the, we, the one that we have here? This one is bookkeeper, bookkeeper. The next one is financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, software engineer. What is the meaning of this? Financial analyst. What is a financial analyst? We have here different definitions, right? I need you to read the definitions. Read each of them and tell me which one do you consider is the definition for the professions. Read and match with the professions. For example, someone who design and develop different softwares. What is this profession? Software engineer. It's a software engineer, right? It's the letter F. What about this one? Help people and business manage their finances. Help people and businesses manage their finances. What is that profession? Financial analyst. It's a financial analyst. Create and advertise the company over the social media. Create and advertise the company on the social media. Digital marketing. Digital marketing manager, right? It's letter D. Someone who knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Someone who knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Insurance. It's Argent. a... Uh, the regulation of management with the employees. ¿Quién maneja los empleados en su oficina? Uh, human uh, human the human resource analyst, right? The human resource specialist. Because they know the policies and the regulation. Son todas las políticas y todo lo que regula al manejo de calidad humana, los empleados. Someone who keeps track of the financial accounts of the company. Keeps track of the financial accounts of the company. It's a bookkeeper, right? El que ayuda al contador. A bookkeeper. The one that is supervising. And the last one, someone who helps people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. Como es posible que no lo sepan? Insurance agent, right? Como es posible que son sis? Insurance agent. Because they help the company against, lo protege contra, riesgos y pérdidas. Okay? Insurance agent es un agente de Seguros. Insurance mm -hmm. es seguro. Seguro. Okay. Como cuando usted mm -hmm. compra un carro, por ejemplo, cuando usted compra un carro y dice, no, no voy a hacer que choque, aseguremos. 
¿ok? Y ahí si usted le pega a alguien o alguien le pega, usted está cubierto contra daños y pérdidas, ¿ok? So, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. That is an insurance agent. So, if you want to read these sentences, if you want to read these sentences, we are going to make them like this, and we are going to say... Financial an analyst. <laughs> financial analyst. Okay, practiquemos, los, practiquemos las todas. The first one is bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Book, como book, del libro. Bookkeeper. Financial. Financial analyst. Um, financial analyst. Okay, say financial analyst. Financial, analyst. financial analyst. Financial. Financial analyst. The next one. Financial analyst. Very well. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Specialist. Digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. 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 Software engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Okay. So, if we want to make a complete sentence, si lo vamos a leer como una oración completa, le voy a enseñar a todos y lo vamos a hacer de la siguiente manera. We go like this. An insurance agent. Y de ahí leemos la definición. An insurance agent. ¿Qué le tendríamos que cambiar aquí? Helps. Okay. An insurance agent helps people and companies against financial loss and manages risks okay that is a definition an insurance agent helps people and companies against financial loss and manages risks okay hagamos las otras esa era la a bookkeeper ¿por qué le pongo a y an? porque estamos hablando de una sola profesión un analista un agente un ingeniero, right? In this case, porque le puse an, a insurance agent. Porque empieza con una vocal. Porque empieza con vocal, exactamente. So let's continue here. Tenemos bookkeeper aquí. Bookkeeper. So we say, a bookkeeper, we say here, a bookkeeper, a bookkeeper, a bookkeeper keeps, exactly like that, keeps track of the financial accounts of companies, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque cambiamos el verbo, cambiamos el verbo a tercera persona. A bookkeeper keeps track of the financial accounts of the company. ¿Cómo haríamos el número dos? Que es financial analyst. Uh. Uh, financial uh -huh. analyst. Uh, financial analyst helps. Sigamos, sigamos. Sigamos y yo lo voy a ir poniendo. Uh -huh. Le damos toda la definición. ¿Quién es un financial analyst? A financial analyst helps, helps. 
people and businesses manage their finances. Ok, la número tres, ¿cómo la haríamos la número tres? Human resource specialist. Human, uh, human, resource. human resource, a human resource specialist know the police and regulations involved, involved in involved? the manager in the police. It's okay, Ma it's okay. The manager, ma management, of management, say management, management. Management of employees. 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 Employees, right? A human resources specialist knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Very good. Let's practice with number four. Letter D. It's a digital marketing manager. A digital market manager great great continue great and advertise the company over okay the social media okay media. so you say creates tenemos otro verbo Create. creates and Advertises, creates and advertises the company over the social media. Social media. Okay. A digital marketing manager creates and advertises the company over the social media. What about the last one? Hagamos el último. A software engineer. software engineer design designs very good develop different software designs software. and develops different softwares okay designs and develops different softwares so Let's listen first. Ok, escuchen primero la pronunciación y después cada uno va a escoger una para leerla. Ok. The first one says, a bookkeeper. Ok, vamos a silenciar micrófonos para que todos puedan escuchar claramente. A bookkeeper keeps track of the financial accounts of companies. A human resource specialist knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. An insurance agent helps people and companies against financial loss and manages risks. A financial analyst helps people and businesses manage their finances. A digital marketing manager creates and advertises the company over the social media. A software engineer designs and develops different softwares. ¿Qué palabra les cuesta? ¿Cuál no pueden pronunciar? Teacher, how do you pronounce? ¿Cuál les cuesta? Cuéntenme. Uh, teacher, uh, a mí me cuesta finance, financial. Okay, financial, financial. Financial. Analyst. And, uh -huh. and uh, manage, management, manage, management. Management, right, management. Management. Teacher, teacher, eh, involved, creo que se en esa parte. Uh, let me see. Ah, involved. Involve. Acuérdense de la pronunciación de la V. The V, V, right? Involved. You have the two Bs. Ahí tienen dos Vs. Involve. Involve. 
¿cuál otra les cuesta? Díganme. Si no, cuando la lean y se traen, vamos a corregir otra vez. Cualquiera que les cueste ahorita. Eh, a ver. Eh, a human resource specialist. Así es. Human resource specialist. Sí. Regulation involved. Regulations involve. 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 There you go. In the management of, of em, employees. Employees. Ok. Léanlas todas ahí con el micrófono apagado. Y cuando yo les dé el paso, vamos a ir uno por uno leyendo una. Van a escoger una. No la misma, todo, pero van a ir leyendo una. Practice all of them. Practice. Ok, let's see. Edwin Steven, lee una. Escoge cualquiera y lee. Ok. Uh, la tres. Ok, go ahead. Any, any, the one that you want. A human resource specialist knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Okay, a human resource specialist knows the policies and regulation. Regulations. 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 Okay, involve in the management of employees. Very good. Joanna, vamos. A software engineer. Designs and develops different software. Okay, develops. Develops. Okay, el sonido de la V. Develops. 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 Very good. Let's continue with Alma Dalila. Um, software engineer. Um, they develop designs and develops different softwares. Okay. Let's continue with Jose Reyes. A digital marketing manager create and advertises advertises. Advertises. Ya, ya vimos que tenemos que trabajar con la V todo. Advertises. 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 The company over the social media. Social. 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 
Social media. Janet, vamos. Help people and visit my desir finances. Ok. There. There. Aquí es there. Ok. Helps people and businesses manage their finances. Finances. ¿Y cuál es la profesión? A financial analyst. Financial analyst. Ok. Let's continue with Mr. Christian. Cristian, después Tatiana y después Catherine Elizabeth, para que se vayan preparando. A uh, digital marketing manager, creas um, advertising the company over the social media. Ok, social, social, social media. Mire que en El Salvador tenemos tanto el ch -ch -ch y de aquí nos cuesta, mira, social, social media. Social media, very good. Let's continue with the next one. Thank you, Christian. Vamos, Tati, después Catherine. Tatiana Galeas, vamos. A financial analyst helps people and businesses manage their finances. Their finances. Todo nice, pero me le pusiste ese a people. <risa> Hasta people se fue con ese. Ok, helps people. People ya es plural de por sí. Entonces no puede llevar ese. Helps people and businesses manage their finances. Very good job. Nice pronunciation, Tati. Very good. Catherine Elizabeth, vamos. Después Antonio José. A software engineer. Design. Deve develop. Designs and develops. Different software. Different software. Very good, Antonio. And a software engineer design and develop different software. Designs. Designs. D, porque es la letra E. Designs. designs. Good. Leticia González. A financial analyst. Financial. 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 Analyst helps people and businesses manage their finance. Their finances. And let's see, Luz Rodriguez. Y después cerramos con Ilse. Luz. Bookkeeper helps track of the financial. 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 Financial accounts of company. Okay, and Ilse. Cerramos con Ilse. A digital marketing manager creates an advertising the Is company this? over the social media. Okay, advertises. Advertises. The company over the social media. Very good job, my dear students. We are going to work on this one, right? We are going to work on this one, but we are not going to use this one. We are going to create four definitions. I am going to have you working in groups of four. Te voy a poner a trabajar en grupos de cuatro. Son tres grupitos nada más. Y van a escoger cuatro profesiones. Y le van a escribir la definición chiquitita, así como esto. ¿Ok? Le voy a poner una que sé que no van a escoger pero la vamos a poner. A gardener. ¿Qué hace un jardinero? A gardener. ¿Qué hace un gardener? Takes care of the plants and flowers. Okay. A gardener takes care of the plants and flowers. That's the definition, ¿ok? Ustedes van a escoger cuatro profesiones y me van a escoger cuatro definiciones chiquitas, ¿ok? Le voy a poner otra que sé que no la van a escoger. Um, let's see. A painter. A painter. ¿Ok? A painter. ¿Qué hace un painter? Creates beautiful 
paintings for decoration. Okay, eso es un pintor. Creates beautiful paintings for decoration. Okay, con su grupo ustedes van a escoger cuatro, con cuatro definiciones. Okay, so that's what you are going to do. Four professions, simple definitions, okay? Definiciones simples. No la gran definición, vea, que un maestro es una, es un ente admirable que crea clases y lecciones para gente. No, 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 something simple, okay? It's going to be something simple. We are going to go and create three groups, okay? We're going to create three groups. You are going to have you are going to have 10 minutes, okay? Vamos a tener solo 10 minutos para este ejercicio. Only 10. De los, a los 10 minutos me los traigo de regreso todos, okay? We're going to be here 10 minutes, así que aprovechemos el tiempo. And let me see. Okay, yeah, 10 minutes. There you go. Accept my invitation. Leti, Joana, no les llegó mi invitación para unirse a los grupos. Thank you. Joanita, te dio una invitación para el grupo. Okay, we're going to go and check what the other ones are doing while Joanna can connect. Este. La atención médica. Carl of the sick. Ok, <ríe> Janet, viene con todo, Janet. Janet, mándelo al chat. Mándelo, mándelo aquí en el chat, mire, para que todos lo puedan copiar. Wow. Nice. Gracias al teacher que está de la par de Janet. Teacher sin, teacher sin rostro. Está estudiando también. That's so Hola, cool. Buenas. Ahí está, Hola. tiene rostro. Sí, sí tengo. Sigue ayudando a Janet, sígale ayudando a todos. Nos Pero ya, va a entrar. Eh, ya voy a entrar a mi clase. Ah, pues no, ni modo. Sí. Thank entra. you, thank you for Bye. helping. Bye. Ok, so Janet says about the doctor. Takes care of sick people. This car takes of care sick. of sick people. Ahí está, ven, nos mandó una foto, ¿eh? Takes, Como... le falta la, la, la S, takes. Takes, takes care, ahí. takes care of the sick. Yeah, that's good, take care of the sick. That's Cuidado. good. Cuidado. Qué bonita letra, mire la Okay. Continue with the other one. You have only one. That's good. Sigamos con las otras. Hello. 
La, la Leticia está riéndose ahí, ¿ve? no sé qué está pasando, Leticia. No, es mi hermana. Ah, ok. Hey, Joanita, you're here. Yay. Joanita se nos había perdido. Ya la encontramos. Do you have the definitions? Um, ¿Ya, ¿Ya tienen las definiciones? Sí. Which ones? Which are the definitions? Um, habíamos put chef, cook in a restaurant. Ajá, remember the third person. Los verbos tienen que ir en tercera persona. A chef. A chef. Cooks. Cooks. Ajá. Uh -huh. In a restaurant. A chef cooks in a restaurant. Uh -huh. The next one. Uh, a secretary. Secretary. Administrativa. Uh, no sé cómo dice administrativa. Antonio. Antonio lo tenía. No, este. Leticia lo escribió yo porque no lo había escuchado bien el día de hoy. Administrates, 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 ok, administrates what, ¿qué es lo que administra la secretaria? Eh, no, le pusimos secretaria asistente administrativa, ah ok, administrativa assistant, ajá, ¿qué es lo que hace la administrativa uh -huh. assistant? Um... Administration information. Administrates information. Very good. Administrates information. ¿Saben por qué la secretary se llama secretary? Porque le keeps secrets to the boss. Secretary. Bueno, se llama secretary porque keeps secrets. Ah, mantiene los secretos del jefe. That's a secretary. No, I'm kidding. Okay. A cook. Cooks. A secretary keeps secrets, right? A teacher teaches, right? So we have the different professions and occupations. Good. I am going to check on the last group. Nos quedan tres minutos, chicos. Vamos. Hello. Did we finish? Ah, okay, okay. Continue, continue. Which ones do you have? ¿Cuáles son las que tienen? Policeman. A policeman, ajá. Uh -huh. Mechanic. And a mechanic. What is the definition of the mechanic? Repair a car. Repairs a car? No, porque no solo repara uno. Repairs cars. Car. 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 Yeah. Repairs cars. And the other one? Police officer? They, they care the people. They, okay, they take care of the people. They take care of people. Good. A police oh. officer? A police officer, si lo hacemos individual, a police officer takes care of people. Takes care of people. Good, very good. Write the last one. Escriban la última. Okay, I will come back.
falta uno, ¿verdad? Ya les mandé una del ingeniero. ¿Quién ya? Ah, 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 el grupo. Sí, pero las que de ustedes no me han caído ninguna. Las mandamos al grupo aquí a su. Aquí se revisa, se revisa. Aquí aquí está ya y la otra la mandé al grupo yo ahí, ahí, ahí se manda aquí ha mandado Cristian la de ok, important when we close the room the chat disappears okay? cuando cierro el grupo el chat desaparece, así que copien please copien. that's him Okay, students are coming back from the groups in 30 seconds to present their sentences. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back from the groups. Nice job, the one that you did, right? Me encanta entrar a los grupos y que estén ahí. No, no sé qué, pongamos esto, pongamos aquello. No, pongámoslo así, cambiamos esto, cambiamos lo que. I really like, I really like that, right? The first days are like, ay, que me da pena hablar en el grupo. Now, in the next days, you are like, hey, let's do this and that and that and that. That's pretty awesome. Group number one. The group number one, it's made of Alma Dalila, Christian Ramos, Janet Sarabia, and Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Give me your sentences. Okay, teacher. A doctor? A doctor, uh-huh. Thank after... you, and all the sick. A doctor takes care of the sick. What is the other sí. one that you have, Dalila? Tenías otra definición? Eh, no, era la misma. Okay, takes care of the sick. Very good. The next one. A construction worker. A construction worker. Build house. Build houses. Builds houses. Very good. The next one. A police officer provides security to people. A police officer provides security to people. Nice. And the last one? Ingenier, diseñador de obra. Okay. An engineer designs? De obra. Okay. Designs? Design. The construction. Designs the construction. the construction. Construction, right? An engineer designs the construction. Excellent job. Reactions for group number one. You did it very well. Very good job. Very good job. Del aplauso de la artista, gracias. The next one. Exercise for room number two. Antonio José, Leticia, Tatiana, and Joana. No se escucha nada. ¿A quién no le escuchan? Está en clase. Por eso. Ah, ok. <laughs> Sorry. Chute en la clase. <laughs> group number two. Group number two. Antonio, Leticia, um, Tatiana, y Joana. Vamos. A chef cook in a restaurant. 
A chef cooks in a restaurant. Good. Another one. A nurse assists the doctor and the sick. Nice. A nurse assists the doctor and the sick people. Good. Very good. The next one. Um, secretary administrates information. A secretary administrates information. Very good. And the last one. A singer creates uh, music. A singer creates music. Very nice job. Reactions for group number two. Very good. Very good job. Excellent job. Reactions for my group. Very good job. And the next one, group number three. Edwin, Jose, Luz, and... ¿Quién más está ahí? Ilse. No, no, Ilse estaba en el otro grupo. Okay. Group number three. Go ahead. Yo la segunda. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Group three. Vamos, chicos. Irse, empieza Ilse, luego Edwin, Luz y termino yo. Ok. Yo la segunda. Ah, vaya, <laughs> Police officer takes care of people. Takes care of people. Very good. The next one. Sure. La segunda. A, me a mechanic. <laughs> Repair, no sé cómo se dice. Repairs, repairs. Repair cars. A mechanic repairs cars. Very good. Number three. Edwin. A doctor checks sick patients, right? Patients. Good. And Mr. Jose, number four. A doctor checks. Six. That was that was Edwin's. Me la acaba de decir Edwin. The police officer. Sí, yo no lo dije. Lo dijeron ellas. José, la número cuatro. The police officer. Eh, a doctor no, a doctor a doctor ya me la dijo Edwin dígame el police officer uh, ah, perdón no, a police officer eh, lo dijo Ilse what is the next one so you have the police officer the doctor ¿cuál es el otro que tienen? mechanic, the mechanic and nurse. And nurse. nurse entonces no falta nurse Nurse helps the doctor. And the nurse helps the doctor, okay? Very good job, very good job. Reactions for your group, please. Mire que a saber quién hay en la casa de José. Ya le dije que lo hagan rápido. La voz al coche ahorita, ahorita. Hasta yo hice las cosas rápido. That was good. Very nice job. Good job, my dear students, you see? This exercise was original. You created things from scratch, okay? Aquí ya empiezan a crear ustedes su contenido. Porque esto yo no les di que iban a poner ni nada. Ustedes armaron todo. Así, con cositas sencillas. Pueden ir armando ya su vocabulario. Say like teacher, porque estamos en básico. No, it's okay, right? Si les pongo los ejercicios es porque ustedes tienen la capacidad de hacerlo. Así que nunca crean que no van a poder hacer las cosas. Okay? So, do it. Do it. Do it. Well. So this is what we are doing, right? The different um, the different exercises with the sentences and everything. We were working with the simple present tense. As I told you before, the auxiliary verbs for he, she, and it, they change in affirmative. Los cambios de estas oraciones son en afirmativo, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque en negativo, Adoptamos el auxiliar y en las preguntas también. Can you help me to read the examples? She works every 
She works every day. Very good. The negative examples? She does not work every day. She doesn't work she does every day. Not she does not or doesn't, right? And for the question, does. Does she, right? Does she work? Here does you have she work every day. Every day. As you can see here, in the auxiliary verbs, we have does and does not for he, she, and it. Okay. So we have. She works every day. And you say, no, teacher, mentiras, no lo hace. She doesn't work every day. Si se fijan, al adoptar el auxiliar, el verbo se pasa a su forma normal. ¿Ok? Normal. El verbo se vuelve normal de nuevo. Y cuando hacemos la pregunta, el auxiliar va al inicio, el sujeto, el verbo normal y el complemento. Okay. What is something curious about this? Hay algo curioso acerca del simple present. Que lo acompañamos de frases de tiempo. For example, you say, just to give you one example. At 6 a.m., at 8 a.m., at 10 a.m. ¿Por qué? Porque esto sucede todos los días a la misma hora. So you say, she wakes up at 6 a.m. Sabemos que a las 6 de la mañana, el teacher Nati ya está despierta. She wakes up at 6 a.m. Pero ¿qué pasa si esto no sucede y es negativo? ¿Cómo la hacemos negativa? You say, like, no, teacher, teacher Nati, no, levanta a las 6 de la mañana. So you say, she... She does not work every day. She doesn't... What? She doesn't... She doesn't, she doesn't wake up, okay? She doesn't wake up. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no decimos she doesn't wake up? Uh -huh. Porque ya lleva auxiliar. Very good job. Ting, ting, ting. She doesn't wake up, okay? Si la hacemos negativa, el verbo es normal sin ese. Okay, she doesn't wake up. What about the next one? ¿Cómo cambiaríamos el siguiente? She eats breakfast at 8 a.m. And you say, She doesn't what? It, it, she doesn't eat, right? She doesn't eat. So you say she doesn't eat breakfast, right? She doesn't eat breakfast. What about the next sentence? Let's make this one negative. Hagamos la siguiente negativa. She goes to work at 8.30. She doesn't, go. She, doesn't go. She doesn't go. she doesn't go. She doesn't go. She doesn't go to work, right? She doesn't go to work. What about the next one? She studies English. Nah, you say. She doesn't study English, right? What about the next one? She has lunch. She doesn't. ¿Cuál es la cuál es el forma la forma normal de has? Have. Have, have. exactly like that. Have. She doesn't have lunch. What about the next one? She goes to she goes home. She doesn't go. She doesn't go. She doesn't go home. What about the next one? She does. She her doesn't do. She doesn't do. Very good. She doesn't do her homework. And she cooks dinner. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't cook. cook. 
diner. She dinner. doesn't cook dinner. Very good. And the last one, she goes to bed at she 11. Doesn't go to bed. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't go. go. She doesn't go to bed. To bed. To bed. Right. She doesn't go to bed. She doesn't go to bed. What happens if I want to make a question? Ah. Uh -huh. Ajá. Si quiero hacer una pregunta, ¿qué voy a hacer? Primero el auxiliar. Exactly. Primero le vamos a poner el auxiliar a todas. And you say, das, para todas, para todas, para todas, para todas. So, and you say, das. Ajá, das what? Das, y aquí cubre para todas estas. Uh, ahorrando tinta. Das, she, y aquí lo que vamos a hacer es quitarle las terceras personas. So in this case you say does she and there you go. Does she wake up? Does she eat breakfast? Does she go? Does she study? Ahí le ponemos la griega. Does she have? Does she go? Does she do? Does she cook? Does she go? And here, for all of them, you are going to have the question. ¿Cómo sería la primera pregunta? ¿Cómo la leeríamos la primera pregunta? Does she wake up at 6 a.m.? Wake up. At 6 a.m.? ¿Cómo leemos la segunda pregunta? Does she eat? So remember that we go here. Okay, so we have here. Does she wake up at 6 a.m.? Does she eat breakfast at 8? Does she? Okay, and then you go with the next one. How do you read number three? ¿Cómo leemos la número tres? Does she study English at 10 a.m.? Okay. She has lunch at 12. ¿Cómo hacemos esta pregunta? Does she have lunch at 12 noon? Does she have lunch at 12 noon? That's the way it is. ¿Cómo hacemos la siguiente? Does she go home at 3 p.m.? Very good job. Does she go home at 3 p.m.? Let's see. Mr. Jose, ¿cómo hacemos esta? Does she do her homework? Does she do her homework? Right? Does she do her homework? Very good. How do we make the next one? Let me see. How do we make this one? Catherine Elizabeth, ¿cómo lo hacemos? Does she cook dinner at Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Alma Dalila, the last one. Does she study? No, the last one. Yeah. Esta, la última. Uh, does she cook dinner? This one. Oh. Ahí está. No, no, no me aparecía casi en el teléfono. Ahí está. <laughs> Vaya. Ok, ok. Sí. Does she go? Does she go, go to, to bed? Does, does she go she to bed? Go to bed at eleven. Um, eleven. 
at 11 p.m. Okay, so that's the form of affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And for example, here, I want to share this one with you. Le voy a compartir esta. I am going to share this one. What are some sentences that you can use? You can say, every day, every morning, at seven, every Saturday. Okay, estas son frases de frecuencia definitiva que nos sirven para expresar que algo sucede regularmente. And you have, for example, here. You can also have in the morning. Okay. In the morning. Eh, every eh, two weeks. Cada dos semanas, por ejemplo. So you can say eh, every Saturday in the morning, every day, every night. So you can say, I have English class every night. I have English class every, every day. I have English class once a week. Es una vez a la semana. So you can use sentences like this and they are going to express that you have something in a very specific frequency. So you say, I cook dinner every day. I cook dinner every day. And you can say here, she, she goes to work every morning. Okay, she goes to work every morning. Eso quiere decir que pasa todos los días. Es su rutina. Okay. Once a week, you say, I go to the gym every night. Just an example, right? I go to the gym every night. And there you have one example, okay? Estas oraciones las pueden utilizar para expresar frecuencia definitiva. Every day, every morning, at seven, every Saturday, in the morning, every two weeks, every night, once a week. Okay. ¿Dónde las ubicamos? Al final de la oración. Ellas van siempre al final de la oración. Pueden ir al principio, pero lo más común es que estén al final. I go to work every day. I go, uh, I, I take a bus every morning, okay? So those are extra sentences that you can use, okay? Dicho esto, podemos volver aquí. And then we go here. Simple present tense. Si se fijan, aquí las ocupan. Every day, okay? Every morning, every Saturday, and we have it here. Definite frequency. What does she do according to the picture? Affirmative and negative. ¿Qué hace ella? ¿Es affirmative or negative? Negative. It's negative. So? It's not. So you say she doesn't. Do it, no. Okay, she doesn't what? Está comiendo broccoli, pollito. She doesn't eat lunch. She doesn't eat lunch at 6 a.m. Are you married? Okay, she doesn't eat lunch at 6 a.m. ¿Cómo haríamos la oración correcta? She... Are you married? Sí. Me. 
In this one. Are we, you married? I am. Yes, indeed. Aquí está preguntando si está casada. ¿Quién está casada? Yo sí. En la clase está preguntando. So we go. She eats what? ¿Qué es lo que puede comer a las seis de la mañana? She eats. Breakfast. She eats breakfast at 6 a.m. She doesn't eat lunch. Okay. ¿Cómo haríamos la correcta y la incorrecta? He. Esta la hicimos el otro día. He cooks at 6. And you say, to make the negative form, he doesn't cook at 6. Okay, he cooks at 6 a.m., he doesn't cook at 6. What about this one? She. Wake up. I love to wake up. She doesn't. Ah, uh -huh. sería. She doesn't what? She doesn't sleep. She doesn't sleep. Very good. She doesn't sleep at 6 a.m. Pero era su día libre. Entonces, she. She sleeps at 6 a.m. What about this one? Ahí está teacher Nat haciendo las clases. Ah, no, es el otro teacher. He works. At 6 a.m. Yeah. And what, what is the negative? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't work. He doesn't work, right? He doesn't work at 6 a.m. What about this one? He takes a shower, right? He takes a shower. He takes a shower at 6 a.m. Pero no le gusta en la noche, entonces en la mañana no. He doesn't take. He doesn't take a shower. He doesn't take a shower at 6 a.m. Right, mucho frío. He doesn't take a shower at 6 a.m. And the last one. He. He bus. Bus what? ¿Cuál es el verbo? No. ¿Qué hacemos con el bus? He takes a bus. He takes a bus at 6 a.m. And the negative? He doesn't take a bus, right? He doesn't take a bus at 6 a.m. And here we have? This is use the computer, right? She uses the computer. Yes, she uses yes. the computer at 6 a.m. But you say, not nah, teacher, si a tomar café llevo. She doesn't. She doesn't. The computer. Use, use, use the computer, right? She doesn't use the computer at 6 a.m., right? So that's the form of this one, right? As you can see, we have affirmative and negative statements, right? Affirmative and negative. And we have, for the first examples, eh, veamos, Joana. Ay, la agarré en el, en el bostezo, lo siento. Le iba a decir a Antonio y en ese momento bostezo y ahí me puse a Adrián, a, a Joana y también bostezo en el mismo momento. What is the first sentence? Ayúdenme con el primer ejemplo. Vaya, Joana la afirmativa y Antonio la negativa. Vamos. Uh, she makes many phone calls. Um, she doesn't make many phone calls. Very good. Alma, la afirmativa y José, la negativa. He carries. He carries. Carries boxes. In, into. Into the truck. Into the truck. He carries boxes into the truck. Jose? He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. He doesn't carry. 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 Aquí ya va normal. Carry. He carries, porque es en tercera persona afirmativa. 
pero como está en negativo, he doesn't carry. Okay, he doesn't carry. Christian, the affirmative and Ilse the negative. Cindy Sam report to other companies. Very good. Ilse, the negative. Cindy does doesn't. Cindy doesn't send report to the to other companies. Reports. Reports. Okay, Edwin, the affirmative. And Leticia Ortiz, the negative. Yeah. Uh, I help water be on time. It helps. It helps. Okay, and let's go with the negative. Leticia Ortiz, the negative. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, pues, Catherine Elizabeth, ayúdame. Que me mande lluvia porque aquí puro colors. It doesn't help but can be on time. It doesn't, doesn't help, doesn't help. And the last one, everybody, affirmative. Everybody, the affirmative. My boss talks my boss talks about, about the new rules. rules. The negative? My, my boss, boss doesn't, doesn't talk, talk about, about, about the new, the new rules. rules. The new rules, rules. Rulers son las reglitas de plastic. Rules, rules. Okay, so here we have a short conversation. Leamos la conversación mientras le paso lista, okay? Go ahead. Vayanla practicando, vayanla leyendo mientras les paso listo. Alma Dalila. I am present, teacher. Alma Xiomara. Alba Leticia González. Present, teacher. Antonio José Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristian Mauricio. Present, teacher. Edwin Steven. Present Eric Eduardo, que no está. Evelyn Janet. Present teacher. Heidi Yamilet. Janet Tatiana Galeas. Present teacher. José Heriberto Reyes. Present teacher. José Oscar Flores. Josué David no está. Catherine Alejandra Juárez tampoco. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Thank you. Catherine Lisbeth Solorzano. Okay. Catherine Lisbeth Solorzano. Eh, Leticia Magdalena Contreras. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Ah, está lloviendo. Ya me dijo. Sorry. Luz de Jesús. Thank you. Ilse Marlene Castillo. Present teacher. Melvin Josué is not here. Rosa Margarita tampoco. Rosa María tampoco. Joana Mariela. Thank you very much. Ok, present teacher. Dice. Antonio también está lloviendo. Dice por allá. Bichos, mándenos la lluvia. Ok. Good, very good job. So, let's go back to the conversation, right? Let's go back to the conversation. And we are going to go first, before everything, just to make a very, very quick review. Okay, give me a second, please. Here. Just remember, right? When we use the plural, uh, the third person endings, right? Remember, we make the change on the verb, right? Here we have the different rules. 
for the changes, right? I am going to send you this picture. Ya le puedo enviar esta imagen para que la tengan. And <clears throat> don't change questions and negatives. And don't change the models. Irregulars for he, she, and it. And for have. Okay, so I am going to send you this picture for you to have the definitions of the grammar. Okay, I am going to send you this one. Le voy a enviar esta para que tengan sus definiciones de la grammar. Okay, and that's it. Uh, let's go back to the conversation. On the conversation, we're going to practice. What is the conversation about? It's about schedule. Okay, a schedule. Practice with me that word schedule. A schedule. A schedule, right? A schedule. Significa horario. Schedule. Horario. ¿Cuál es su schedule in the morning? Okay, mi schedule de trabajo es de 8 in the morning to 4 p.m. My schedule is from 8 to 4. What is your schedule from 7 to 4.33? Okay, that is your schedule. And it says, good morning, Cindy, how are you? Good morning, Cindy, how are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who's Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesdays, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on the weekends? And we're going to check here, right? And on the weekends, what? Does she do the other days of the week? Practice with me. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Cindy. How are, How are you? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. 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 I Fine. have many things to do this week. Many things to do this week. But Katie is very busy. 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 Really? Who's Katie? Really? Really? Who's Katie? The new secretary. The new secretary. secretary. Her schedule is very tight. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, on Monday, on Monday, on Monday, on Monday, okay, oh yeah, alguien que estaban ahí asesinando, no sé qué pasó. On Monday, she makes many um, phone calls. Es el aguaje de la casa, Cristian. Está viviendo en tu casa, Cristian. Sí, sí, pero te voy a pagar. Te lo voy a pagar. Ok, ya, ajá, encontré el aguaje. Encontré el aguaje, a ver, vea. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Vamos a dejar a Christian ahí que lo haga en, 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 en oh, micrófono Monday. mute. On Monday, she, she makes made. many phone calls. She makes oh, many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. Later, she writes reports about the production. She writes reports about the production. She writes reports about the production. The production. Production. The production. And what does she do the other days? And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails. On, on Wednesday, Wednesday, she sent me some email. 
to the bookkeeper. To the bookkeeper. Y ahora la leemos completa. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. Arranges meetings. Arranges meetings. She is so busy. She is so busy. So busy. Busy, busy. So and on the weekends? Um, and on the weekends. And on the weekends. Okay. And on the weekends. Okay. On the weekends. Okay. On the weekend. Palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo. That you say, ah, what is the meaning of that, teacher? Uh -huh. New words or new vocabulary. Palabras nuevas que ustedes no conocían antes. Arranges. Arranges. Arranges is, arranges is coordinar, ordenar. Arranges meetings. Another one. A schedule is horario. Busy. 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 Usted de 7 a 9. You are very busy. Okay, de 7 a 9 ustedes están busy, ocupados. You're busy. Very tight. Tight. Tight is like, for example, right? Si me dicen ustedes, teacher, nos vamos a reunir para tomarnos un café. ¿Cuándo tiene tiempo? And I say, well, on Monday I work, on Tuesday I work, on Wednesday I work, on Thursday I work, Friday I work, Saturday I work, Sunday I work. I never have time. It's very tight. Tienes el, el horario muy apretado. O sea, no hay un espacio vacío en el horario. Okay? Tight means apretado. Her schedule is very tight. O sea, no hay un pedacito para meter otra actividad ahí. Teacher, eh, why? Which one? Eh, eh, la segunda le dice... Ah, fine. Uh -huh. Fine. Bien. ¿Cómo está? Le pregunta a ella. How are you? Fine. Nice. Estoy bien. Estoy bien. I'm fine. Good keeper. What is the meaning of but? I have many things to do this weekend, but Kate is very busy. Pero. Pero. Eso, eso significa but. Pero. Uh -huh. Another one? What is another one that you have a question? Bookkeeper. A bookkeeper, ya lo hablábamos antes, que es el que eh, ayuda en la contabilidad. The bookkeeper mm -hmm. es el asistente contable. Okay. The bookkeeper, el que lleva todas las cuentas. El auditor. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. More questions? Pronunciation questions? Preguntas de pronunciación? Pronunciation questions? Uh, what is the meaning of meeting? Meetings. meetings, reuniones, meetings, reuniones. Meetings are reuniones. ¿No se han fijado donde dice Zoom meetings? Reuniones en Zoom, Zoom meetings. Uh -huh. Secretary, secretary. Production, production. Rights reports. Writes reports. Wednesday, Wednesday, and emails, right? Emails. It says, practice with me, okay? Look at what you want to do. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Exactly like that, okay? Con, con entusiasmo, vea. La pronunciación. En inglés, como no tiene tilde ni nada, tiene que llevar sentimiento. Porque si usted se encuentra Cindy en el pasillo y le dice, Good morning, Cindy, how are you? 
<risa> y la Cindy le va a decir, mm, ¿qué te pasó? <risa> Good morning, Cindy, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Fine. I have many things to do this week. I have many. I have many things to do this week. Okay, ahí nos afligimos porque tenemos un montón que hacer. I have many things to do this week. I have many things to do this week. I have many things to do this week. But Katie is very busy. But, but Katie is very busy. Okay. Ahí pasa el chambre, ¿verdad? Que la Katie está más ocupada que yo. But Katie is very busy. And you say, really? 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 Um, y ahí le sale el salvadoreño que lleva adentro y le dice, who's Katie? Who's Katie? Who's Katie? En buen salvadoreño es de verdad. ¿Y quién es la Katy? Really, who's Katy? Really, who's Katy? Yes, yes. Really, really es así como de verdad. Y le pregunta con dudas, right? Really, who's Katy? The new secretary. The new secretary. The new secretary. Sí. Sí. Teacher Nati, the new secretary. Her schedule is very tight, teacher. Her schedule is very tight. Her schedule is very tight. Okay. Y ahí empieza a pasar el chambre de todo lo que hace la Katie. Teacher, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. On Monday, On Monday, Monday she makes many, many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. Later, Later la, she, she writes reports about the production. Production, production. Production. Y viene la otra y como le encanta el chambre. And what does she do the other days? ¿Y qué hace los otros días? Pues? ¿En what does she do the other day? ¿En what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper. On Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. She is so busy. She's so busy. A quien le están tirando tortilla, bitch. <risa> ¿A quién le están tirando ahí tortilla para que la coma? El Kaiser delicado no se la quiere comer. So, English, English is very communicative, right? You need to have the intonation in order to have the feeling, right? En buen salvadoreño puedes decir 20 cosas sin expresar sentimiento y te van a entender. Yo te digo, por ejemplo, ayer te vi en metro, fíjate, te subiste en una coster y yo te saludé y ni siquiera me hablaste. Y el otro te va a decir, ah, no, hombre, no te vi. <laughs> And that's it, right? But in English, you say, you know, yesterday I saw you in Metro Centro. I saw you on the coster. I say hello to you, but you didn't talk to me. You ignore me. And the other person is going to say, I'm very sorry. I didn't see you. I'm very sorry for that. So you see the dance of the words in English, right? En inglés es hasta con, con el feeling de que, ¿qué pasó? No le hablaste, qué mala onda, eh, que no sé qué. So it's the same on the conversations. Si usted me contesta el teléfono en su trabajo, me dice, good morning, how are you? Un American le va a decir, oh, what's the matter with you? Are you okay? He's like, yeah, how are you? All right. Good morning. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who's Katie? 
Ah, the new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. Wow. And on the weekends, right? And you continue with the conversation. Okay. Let me see. We have five minutes still. And we are going to practice this conversation. I need two volunteers. Democraticamente escogidos. Gracias, Joanna. Y gracias, Steven. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, sin, uh, no, ¿quién era? Action, aquí no ha pasado nada. <laughs> Joana and Edwin, please, action. Uh, okay. Good morning, Edwin, how are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very good too. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her children. Schedule. Her schedule. Tie. On Monday, she made many phone calls. Many, many phone calls. Many phone calls. Later, she write the report about the production. Production, production. And what doesn't she do the other day? On Wednesday. On Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper on Friday. 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 She arranges. Arranges. Arranged meeting. She's so busy. And on weekends? And on the weekends? Very good. Uy, no caímos. Thank you very much. A clap for your friends. Very good job. Reactions for your friends, people. They did a very nice participation. Very beautiful job. The last two. Siguiente dos voluntarios. Vamos a ver. Al que esté más serio, vamos a escoger. Está pasado a madre, ¿qué Vamos a ver. La va a leer el último que dibuje un gato en el cuaderno y lo ponga en cámara. El último que dibuje un gato en el cuaderno y lo ponga en cámara. Ese lo va a leer todo. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Oh, mi Dios, no ha hecho mi gato. A cat, a cat. Ok, ok. Y nosotros estamos incluidos. Ya, yeah, también. Si no dibujo el gato, también le toca. I have my cat. There you go. Ta-da. What a beautiful cat. Very good job. Very good job. Ok, Luz ya lo puso. Janet ya lo puso. Ok, Edwin. Ay, Dios. Ay, Joana ya lo puso. Dejen el gato en cámara si no les toca. Ok, very good. Very good. Very good. Leticia ya lo puso. Ok, hey, Joana, what a beautiful cat. José, no vemos su gato. Hay filtro. Si hay filtro, no hay gato. Ok, Antonio, Katherine. Ah, Tatiana, Tatiana. Luz, ¿dónde está tu gato? Póngalo, póngalo, déjelo ahí, si no le toca. Ok, Leticia Ortiz was the last one. En José Reyes. Leticia en José. Go ahead. Leticia Ortiz en José Reyes. Vamos. Yo sí lo había puesto. No se veía el filtro. Sorry, sorry. Si hay filtro, no hay gato. Go ahead, action. Good morning. Good morning, Leticia. Perdón, pues. Vamos, Leticia, tú comienzas. Good morning, José. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. I have many well, okay. things. I, I have, have many, I have many things. I have many things to do, to do. this week. But Katie is very busy. 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 Very busy. Katie is Katie. 
Who is Katie? Who is Katie? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her shoes. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. La de las papas, me voy a acordar. A schedule. <laughs> is very thick. tight. Tight. Like on Monday, she makes money. Many. From. Perdón. Many. Many phone call. Letter she writes report. Report. About the report about. About. About the production. 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 What does she do? The other days. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. She sent some email to the book bookkeep. And on Friday. And on Friday she arranges ar arranges meetings. Meetings, meetings. Meetings. She is so busy and on weekends. And on weekends. Okay. Thank you very much. Check out for your friends. Nice job. Nice job. Nice Picassos with the cats. They were very beautiful. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for the next part of the class. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Practice the conversation. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher.